So that was all very interesting, wasn't it? But what we really come to talk about is first home buyers. And I just wanted to ask in the crowd, how many of you are actually first home buyers? Quick, very good. Now, how many parents are here of first home potential buyers? There's one, two, three, quite a few. So my experience is, uh, recently has been with Palmyra, but I wanted to take you back a little bit. When I was a young man, a long time ago, I bought my first home, $13,000 in Nolamara, 31 Woodchester Road, Nolamara. It doubled in price in two years. It went up from $13,000 to $26,000. I sold that property and that gave me the grub stake to get into real estate. And I've been in real estate 40 years. And when I first started selling for Finbar, it was a private company and John Chan, uh, Ronald's father, ran that company with another gentleman. And uh, this Palmyra project reminds me very much of those very early projects that we did. And do you remember, Ronald, Moondyne Drive in Wembley? Who knows Moondyne Drive in Wembley? Behind the old Hurdy Hotel. Now that project to this day remains the highest percentage growth property that I've ever sold. In other words, I sold those units for $95,000, $100,000. Now they're worth $450,000, $500,000. In fact, if you look through this board here, most of these projects, a lot of them I've been involved with. In fact, this whole building I sold with another gentleman from Collier. So I have many, many years experience in, in selling real estate. But this project here, we've been working on for about two to three years. It was the old egg farm site down in Palmyra. Does anybody know it? It was down in the, um, in the uh, off, off Leach Highway. So where Leach Highway runs down and Stock Road hits Leach Highway, which is, I think that's not quite right. We'll go to the next one. It's right here. So that's Leach Highway running all the way down. And there's the, the, uh, the Dorsonia Meat Factory is here. And that was a big slab of land there. Now that land there has been underutilised for many, many years. And why am I telling you all this? Because real estate's all about buying for capital growth. It's pointless buying a property, whether you're a first home buyer or an investor, unless you're going to get some kind of growth. I can't guarantee you growth, but I got very excited about this. When that client came to me and said, do you know any good developers that can build uh, a project with us in joint venture on our site? I immediately, of course, came to Finbar. And we got very excited about it because it was an opportunity to create something for what we believe was the market. And the market is first home buyers at the moment. Downsizers, yes, we can sell to them, but they're very difficult to sell to because they believe that what they've got in their homes, they can replace in their house, in the, in the, in the unit, and walk away with cash in their pocket, but it's a bit hard to do because some of these projects, when you're looking through the city here, those are not three, four $400,000 units. They're seven, eight hundred, nine hundred thousand dollars $900,000 units. And first home buyers don't buy into those, but they do buy into this. So what we did is we created a product a village, and we called it the Palmyra Apartment Estate, because it's a village of apartments, either one, two, or three bedroom units. And the key to it was to keep the price down. So we created a lovely village environment. And you can see, looking at them here now, three level walk up, meaning no elevators, meaning no big levees, meaning we keep the levees down, because first home buyers can't afford big levees. They can in the city, but not out here. And then we created, which is what something that we've always done with Finbar, and this has evolved over many, many years. In fact, going back to that project, we sold, I think, 200 apartments in Moondyne Drive uh, over those years. And the, what set it apart from other developers at that time was we had a gated estate with security and we had a swimming pool and a spa. And nobody else did it, but we did it. And everybody flocked to it. Now, what Finbar have done, and the others followed them, is that they created beautiful facilities. So in this particular one, we've got a lovely 25 metre swimming pool. We've also got a cabana at the back of the pool. And this is all about uh, young people and first home buyers. So you can go there, you can entertain your friends and your family. There's a hot spa. Uh, inside you've got a gymnasium and you've got a uh, sauna and also a big games room. So it creates a family environment, but it's a village environment. So selling to first home buyers isn't difficult. It's my favourite thing. Selling to downsizers is very hard. Selling to investors 
even more difficult. Now, investors aren't in the marketplace at the moment, but they're just starting to come in. That's a threat to first home buyers. So I'm going to give you some warning. Whether you buy today or tomorrow off me or anybody else, you've got to realise that when investors get back into the marketplace, and they will, that will force up prices because of supply and demand. So as a first home buyer, you need to get in now. You need to be clever, you need to be smart, and you need to buy in a good location. Why is that such a good location, going back to that first map? It's close to Fremantle, it's close to Garden City, it's close to the river, it's easy access to the city, it's close to the employment hubs. And the amount of people that I've sold to down here at Palmyra who work in uh, either the universities or in Fiona Stanley Hospital or St John of God's or down into Coburn or further down into Quinana because it's a perfect location. It doesn't have other projects all around it without getting upset with Ronald over here because there's a lot of apartment projects that, that Finbar are doing but a lot of them are in precincts where there's a lot of apartments. Just look outside the window. Apartments everywhere. Palmyra, what I, why I got so excited about it was it's an opportunity to build a village of over 250 apartments when it's finished, but that's it. There's no more big land. There's no more opportunities for other developers to come in and build more apartments. It's built up. So that gives you an, op an opportunity for growth. So the market is poised for growth in my view. My first house jumped twice, well doubled in two years. We're not predicting that. But by buying off the plan, if you came to see me, the first thing I'd do is I'd find out, have you, have you got a job? Have you got a mum and dad that's going to stand behind you to make sure that if you can't complete the contract, you're going to have mum and dad and the support of the family behind you? Very important. Then I'll send you off to see my friend Colin Lamb. And Colin, of course, has dealt with me for many, many years. I won't sign up a first home buyer unless I'm sure that he's comfortable and they're comfortable to buy. The other good thing about buying from myself and from Finbar is you know it's going to get built. Now a lot of first home buyers go out there, they think this is exciting, they find something off the plan, they'll go and see a salesperson, there's just a sales hut there, there's nothing much happening but they're told with a surety from a salesman, it's going to happen. They sign up, they pay their 10% deposit and a year later it's not built and another year later it's still not built and then they go to the developer or to the agent and they say, what's going to happen? Oh look, we couldn't get our pre-sales, so therefore we can't start, so I'm sorry, you're not going to lose any money, you'll get your deposit back, but that's not what they want. What they want is a house. They want capital growth. So here's an opportunity to buy in this project, which has already started construction. It's underway. It'll be finished by May or June of next year. And the biggest question everybody says to me is, well how much do you think it's going to be worth when it's finished? Well, I don't know. And if I was to say to you that I knew, I'd be telling a lie. I can't predict the future. But all the indices are there, as um, David has shown you, as Colin uh, would have shown you. The, the interest rates are low. Employment is good. Things are all moving in the right direction. We've had a very flat market for about eight to ten years. So if you're a clever first home buyer, buy in a good location, in a great project, buy it from a reputable builder and developer under construction and then hopefully in 12 months time when it comes time to pay for it, you'll have some equity growth in it. I can't guarantee that, but my instincts are telling me the next 12 months and this particular project is going to go very well. So much so that David will tell you from Urbis, Palmyra Apartment Estate is the highest selling, fastest selling off the plan project in Perth in the last, in the first quarter of this year. And I made those sales myself. And the 80% of the sales that I've made there are all first home buyers, mainly from the area, mums and dads, Winthrop, Burragoon, even through to Kubalup, uh, uh, even right down into Munster. They're all coming from that area because they love the area, they've grown up in the area, and they don't want to leave the area. This is a great opportunity to buy. So my strongest recommendation is if you're interested, Come and see me afterwards and I'll help you out. Thanks, Ronald.